A case before the South Dakota Supreme Court sounds more like a lesson in grammar than a court case. At the heart of it is the validity of the Buffalo Chip City and whether or not the words and and or mean the same thing. The Buffalo Chip Campground near Sturgis became incorporated into a municipality in 2015. But some didn't like it and fought it in court and won to have the city dissolve because they say the Buffalo Chip didn't have enough residents. At the time, the law read, no municipality shall be incorporated which contains less than 100 legal residents or less than 30 voters. Sentence structure matters. Attorney Jack Heeb, who is representing the Buffalo Chip, argued in front of the Supreme Court today that the Buffalo Chip either needed 100 residents or 30 voters, not both. He says, for instance, A uh, nonprofit corporation is hosting a concert and they wanted uh, people to bring donations. So no person will be admitted to the concert unless they bring a can of juice or two cans of canned goods. No one would read that and think, I need both in order to get into the concert. But an attorney for the state, James Moore, says in this case, and and or mean the same thing. And the best example of that is no food or drink in the courtroom. And you can look outside this courtroom and the sign's a little bit different. It says no smoking, food, beverages allowed in the courtroom. There's no and there, there's no or. But it would, would it be reasonable to read that sign and think, well, I can smoke in the courtroom as long as I don't bring food and beverages into the courtroom? Or can I bring food as long as I'm not smoking? So what about the eligibility rule that read no person shall be enlisted in the armed forces without a high school diploma or a general equivalency diploma. So grammatically very similar, it's an eligibility rule. You don't have to have both, you just have to have one. The Supreme Court justices will make a ruling at a later date.